Hello, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time, they sense movement. I'm doing another video regarding, well, of course, Transformers, but this time, it's not just Transformers. It's the Transformers X Jurassic Park collaborative figure. Now, this has been heavily rumored a while back. In fact, they teased it recently. Some people even speculated that it would come with a repaint of Dinobot that would be blue from Jurassic World, but I feel like that didn't make sense because if you look at a lot of the other collaborative figures like Ectotron and Gigawatt, they're more like the original, original movies. So I understand what they're going for and I'm very happy about it. You got that Jeep, which is JP93. That's the name, which I'm not a huge fan of. And you also have Tyrannicon Rex, which I'm not huge on, but at least it actually feels like a proper name. And so the Tyrannicon is going to be a repaint of Megatron the JP93, some people speculate that it's going to be a remold of Hound, but I'm not seeing anything from Hound from the figure. I think it's a brand new figure, and I think the engineering for this collaborative thing mostly comes from the car. Anyways, I really like the gun that you can attach on top just for storage, but I'm pretty much going to leave that off because it didn't really have that in the original movie. But the gun itself apparently is the sniper weapon that was used in the film, you know, clever girl. Uh, or at least that's what I heard. I don't really remember the gun so much, but I love the car. The yellow rims, the green that fades to yellow, the red striping, and that classic Jurassic Park logo. Not the new one, you know, the one that fades from orange to yellow. It looks fantastic. And the T-Rex itself does look really good for a Megatron repaint. You know, it, it's got the brown striping on the top. It's got brown that fades to orange to this tan. I love how they painted around the eyes, and the eye itself with the yellow and black looks absolutely phenomenal. But it is mostly a Megatron repaint, so I'm not going to dive too much into the mold itself. We pretty much know about it. We got two already, so this is going to be the third. Taking a look at the robot mode, you can see that exposed red and black that looks absolutely fantastic. It's like the meat is exposed. And then you can also see the head sculpt. Now, when I saw the first images of this, I thought the head sculpt was a nod to Tarantulas. It looked like that shape, uh, even though it looked like it also had Starscream's ears, but it seems to be a completely original head sculpt and uh, it does look fantastic. I'm not saying that they would use this head for Tarantulas. I want to make that clear because someone's going to think otherwise, uh, but uh, it just looked like it to me. Now, taking a look at JP93, this is the exciting part. Now, again, I don't see anything from Hound. I might be entirely wrong, but uh, he seems to be a completely new mold. I can see the similarities. You can see that little panel that sticks up from the backpack that does kind of remind me of Hound. But otherwise, I just couldn't find anything that, um, you know, looks like the character. Here's a close-up image of the car itself, and it's got the right paint applications. I love the Jurassic Park logo on the front. Painted backlights with the right amount of details. It's got the number 04. It just looks really good. Oh, the headlights are all painted in. You even have that little light at the top of the hood. It just looks really good. And then you take a look at the robot mode itself, and again, it looks fantastic. Now, some people also speculate, because of the door wings, because of the shape of him, that this might eventually be remolded into skids later on. And I believe there was some listings that, or at least rumors, that we are going to get skids next year. So maybe they're going to base it off this mold, or maybe this is kind of like a pre-tool to that skit. I don't know, we'll just have to wait and see. Interesting enough, it uses ball joints in the elbows, which we don't normally see in the Generations line. Usually the only ball joint is at the head. But uh, yeah, he does look pretty cool. I'm excited for it, and I love the hat on the head sculpt. That is absolutely fantastic, and I love it. Take a look at the packaging. It looks really good. You got that backdrop from the scene that it's going to reference, you know, with the Jeep and the T-Rex. Obviously, it would be this. And I love the crushed car underneath the T-Rex. I think that's very cool. So I'm definitely excited for it. I definitely want it. What do you guys think? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun doodads. And I will see you guys next time.